What's up guys? How are you? You guys sent me a video that you wanted me to react to. It's a Bill Burr on plastic surgery and lotion. Ooh. Very excited to watch this. I love Bill Burr. He's really a really cool guy. Um, and I also really respect him as an actor. He's such a talented actor. And I just think he's an awesome person. So we're going to jump into this. Uh, guys, if there's any other Bill Burr videos you want me to react to, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. And we will watch them. Me, George, I have Tucker on this side of me. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into this right now. Some, some awesome thoughts from Bill Burr. Life advice from one of my favorite comics. Oops. Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? Like, that's what you want to look like? Like you just lost a fight three days ago? <laughs> Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. They're just lying to people. I oh, know, looks great, looks great. Put a little ice on it. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? We followed every step. Did we miss something? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, here's your keys. Here's your keys. There you go. There you go. Oh, I didn't recognize you. You look so young. All right. Take it easy. Is she gone? All right, she's gone. All right. Shred everything. Shred it. <laughs> oh, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero. You know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Hold still. Guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? What else is on your wish list, sir? No, you don't fuck with your face. Okay? I understand liposuction. They screw that up, you can put on a shirt. Right? There's no shirt for your face. Who do they think they're fooling with their stupid, you know? And then you lie to yourself. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna have this done. No, you're not. You're not. What are you? You're just gonna wax the fender on your car. Then that's it. The rest of it looks all shitty. Well, maybe I'll just do the hood, and maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. And you look like one of those Real Housewives, like face all twisted up. These fucking idiots. How do I look? Yeah, they're idiots. Do I look like I'm in my twenties? No. You look weird. You look fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between 52 and 53. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52 or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? Right. That's your options at this point. <laughs> you know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. You notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. I jamming all night. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! It's understandable with them. <laughs> hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? 
What is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dry it out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. So one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. Like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, oh. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, oh. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I don't think we do. Yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you're looking a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. There's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy. Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they, like, leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. If he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like we're just gonna go driving around with this. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> See, there you go. All right, you don't need a facelift. Okay, lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all get a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening! White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing! <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. Oh, that's it? That's sad. I thought it was more. I like I could just like sit here and like Spectre oh wait, no, I don't want to watch this ad. But uh I could just sit here and watch Bill Burr all day. The things he says are so insightful, you don't think about it, you know? You really don't think about it. I myself have used lotion and cream my whole life just because I don't know, my mom always would uh, put it on and I just always really wanted to take care of my skin. But I definitely think that has a lot of truth to it. And I feel like also people with like fair complexions will wrinkle 
more. Oh, it's crazy. But yeah, he's right about the facelifts. I um when I when I was in college, I interned for a plastic surgeon and that's when I realized I could not be a doctor because these women would would come in and they would look, you know, they'd look fine and they'd come out looking like clowns and I would feel bad. I would, they'd just be like, "How do I look?" and like like they they would tell us like, you know, to try to upsell them and all this stuff and I was like, "I can't do this. I don't like think this woman needed all this work on her face." So so yeah, I don't I I don't support plastic surgery in your face. Um, it's you know everything I guess to to has its uh, extents and whatnot. But wow, that was good. I feel like watching more Bill Burr now, guys. Um, I know I get a, a lot of Bill Burr fans from reacting to his videos. So let me know in the comments which ones are best. Which ones should I check out? This was really fun. I had a blast. If you uh, are not a part of the Patreon, join my Patreon. I want my Lauren. And this was fun. All right, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you soon. Right, George? We'll see you soon. Bye.